Good morning and welcome back to the Livingston Parish News Morning Show. My name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. Appreciate you guys joining us this morning. If you're watching this live on Facebook, thank you for that. And if you're checking us out anywhere else, we do upload these shows. It's www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash podcast. We have audio and video versions there for you to check out. And we appreciate you watching there as well. Facing some delays on I-12 from O'Neill back past Range Avenue. Looks like a small accident there on the side of the road. Please keep that in mind. Only minor delays on those on-ramps. Minor delays at 4-H Club Road, River Road, and 190. And some heavier delays on Greenville Springs. After you get off of 64 heading into Central, 64 looks to be flowing pretty well. It's currently, oh, don't forget, school traffic today. Schools are back in session this week after Laura last week. We're going to talk a little bit more about Laura in just a second. It's currently 82 degrees, 94 your high. It's going to be a hot one today, looking at a heat index around 100. 76 your overnight low, small chance of rain this afternoon. Laura could have power down for parts of Louisiana, especially in Lake Charles proper, for up to three weeks. So, of course, uh, a lot of people ramping up for donations. But before we get to that, you can check out uh, some interviews that Mr. David Gray did with sheriff's deputies from the Livingston Parish Sheriff's Office uh, who are visiting uh, and trying to help communities in southwestern Louisiana. You can go find those at www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash breaking news. We do have some photo galleries there as well as, again, some uh, personal interviews Mr. David Gray did with individual deputies who are out on the scene. They're doing things like cutting trees down, trying to help direct traffic, anything they can to help out. Good morning, Ms. Tiffany. Thanks for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. John Schneider and Scott Ennis are collecting goods to go to the Lake Charles area. Those collections will occur today and tomorrow, Tuesday and Wednesday of this week from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., at 123 Aspen Square. Now, if that if you don't know where that is, that is Big Mike's in Denham Springs. They'll be collecting there. There will be volunteers on hand to help get those goods out of your car or, you know, uh, off your truck and into another truck. Things that are most needed, here's the list, face masks, hand sanitizer, toothbrushes, toothpaste, mouthwash, toilet paper, pet food, cleaning supplies, and rechargeable batteries. Again, it's face masks, hand sanitizer, toothbrushes, toothpaste, mouthwash, toilet paper, pet food, cleaning supplies, and rechargeable batteries. Good morning. Thanks for joining us, Ms. Hooker, or Mr. Hooker. Ms. Hooker, thank you for joining us. Again, that's face masks, hand sanitizer, toothbrushes, toothpaste, mouthwash, toilet paper, pet food, cleaning supplies, and rechargeable batteries. So again, uh... Scott Ennis and John Schneider doing a collection for Hurricane Laura victims. That's from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. today, Tuesday, and tomorrow, Wednesday at 123 Aspen Square in Denham Springs. That is Big Mike Sports Bar and Grill. First Pentecostal in Livingston is doing the same thing. They are holding uh, a daily collection today, which is Tuesday the 1st through the 4th, which is Friday, at 29586 South Frost Road. Uh, goods can be dropped off at any time. However, a volunteer will be available in the evenings to help you out. They listed about the same uh, list of goods that are needed for the Lake Charles area. One last time, that is face masks, hand sanitizer, toothbrushes, toothpaste, mouthwash, toilet paper, pet food, cleaning supplies, and rechargeable batteries. So please keep that in mind. The Arts Council is collecting masks. If you'll remember uh, back during the late spring, early summer, they did a drive to try to make a bunch of masks for people in the community. Now they're trying to help collect them. Uh, they will be open from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Thursdays and Saturdays where you can drop your mask off. If you are doing a collection for Hurricane Laura and we left you out here, of course, uh, some people have already collected and gone, including State Representative Buddy Mincy Jr., uh, you can get in touch with David, that's David at LPN1898.com, or myself, McHugh, at LPN1898.com, because we want to get you out there, we want to get it publicized, we want to let people know where they can go donate for the victims of Hurricane Laura, so please let us know. The Livingston Parish Chamber of Commerce is also looking for groups that are donating, uh, either to get their word out or to help. 
Uh, so please give them a call. You can Google Livingston Parish Chamber to get their contact information. Getting into your COVID-19 statistics this morning, 148,193 cases, 4,787 deaths, 1,872,789 tests. 127,000 have recovered. Uh, actually, it's closer to 128,881 are currently hospitalized on 132 ventilators. In Livingston Parish, 3,364 cases, 66 deaths, and just shy of 40,000 tests. The CDC made a little bit of a change late last week. Uh, a lot of people have called it quiet, although it, it's not very quiet. It has kind of made the rounds uh, and has now made its way to us. Uh, the CDC adjusted their COVID-19 data, specifically with regard to deaths, uh, to more so reflect the people who just died from COVID-19 and people who had comorbidities and died from COVID-19. The data that was released after that split showed that 94% uh, of victims of COVID-19 had a comorbidity, uh, upwards of, on average, 2.6%. Uh, comorbidities, comorbidities attached to that. Again, only 6% uh, of that data reflected those who died specifically of COVID-19 and nothing else. Uh, so they are still sifting through that data. That was an initial release. Uh, we're waiting to see what else comes out. Uh, there are some speculative reports that are attached to that that said, well, what about those who had COVID-19 and died in a car accident? Those reports still have not been corroborated. Uh, the only thing the CDC has released is that, you know, individuals may have had uh, diabetes and hypertension, uh, but they listed the death as COVID-19 or with COVID-19. So that's another distinction as well. There is the COVID-19 deaths, which are 6% or with COVID-19, which is 94%, still trying to sift through that data to see just how many were things like uh, folks who might have, uh, you know, had a stroke and died in a car accident, uh, which apparently happens more than you think, and had coronavirus and were listed as a COVID-19 death. There are claims that that is the case, although that data has not been corroborated by the CDC or Johns Hopkins University, who's been kind of uh, one of the de facto entities that's been looking at this data on a daily basis and receive and yeah, excuse me, and pushing national numbers. So we'll see as the CDC continues to adjust their, um, I guess you can say, adjust their uh, uh, data release as it comes out. Uh, and of course, we will report on it as those things change. Uh, but as of right now, again, 94% of those who died from COVID-19 had a comorbidity, uh, upwards of 2.6 on average, with uh, 6% listed as only dying from COVID-19. One last time, we want to remind folks, please let us know if you are gathering uh, goods for shipment over to the Lake Charles area in the wake of Hurricane Laura. Uh, please remember that Mr. Scott Ennis and John Schneider will be collecting at Big Mike's in Denham Springs, 123 Aspen Square, uh, today and tomorrow, Tuesday and Wednesday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. First Pentecostal Church at 29586 South Frost Road is also collecting. Uh, they will be available uh, through Friday, September 4th. And the Arts Council is collecting masks on Thursdays and Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Remember that the most needed things are face masks, hand sanitizer, uh, toothbrushes, toothpaste, mouthwash, toilet paper, pet food, cleaning supplies, and rechargeable batteries. Looking at those COVID-19 mitigation efforts real quick, wear a mask in public. It is a mandate. Six feet or more of distance between yourself and others. Wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds or more. Control your cough or sneezing with an elbow or a tissue, preferably your own elbow. Don't touch your face. My favorite one, 25 or less to a gathering, preferably less. And stay home if you're sick and utilize telehealth to get in touch with your doctor. Please remember that I-12 is facing delays from O'Neill back past Range Avenue. It's also causing some on-ramp delays. Minor, but there is on-ramp delays. Minor delays at 4-H Club Road, River Road, N-190. And some minor delays on 64 heading into Central with some heavier traffic on Greenville Springs. School traffic is back in session, by the way. 
It's currently 82 degrees, 94 your high today. It's going to be a hot one. Heat index about 100 degrees, 76 degrees your overnight low. A small chance of rain this afternoon, not high, about 10%. Not going to, not supposed to rain like it did yesterday, of course. Here we are in southern Louisiana. We know that these showers can pop up, but only a 10% chance of rain this afternoon. One last time, my name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. Appreciate you guys joining us this morning for the Livingston Parish News Morning Show. Please remember, we're on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. We are once a week in print on Thursdays. That's $7 a month to get that in your mailbox. We are also online, www.livingstonparishnews.com. Backslash, oh, well, we have a podcast page, which is free, a coronavirus page, which is free, and a breaking news page, which is free, where you can check out uh, state, national, and arrest information there. Again, we appreciate you joining us this morning. We do hope you have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow morning.